everyone and welcome back to the channel this video is based on my louis vuitton items and the current price increase as this just occurred i will be basically going through my louis vuitton collection so far and basically doing a little bit of a review on each item as well so i'm just gonna pull you forward because you can't see what's going on here so this is the collection so far yes these are the items i currently have and i'm basically just going to go through them one by one so let's get started uh my first item was actually my mm agenda and this piece is made in france obviously i had a few problems with this when i um when i first got it basically i'm just going to cover up with this bit but this is made in france i got this around i think it was around this time last year actually when i bought this item and basically it was i was undecided between this and the mulberry purse and obviously because i couldn't decide on the mulberry purse that i wanted i thought you know what i've got the money to get my first Louis Vuitton item so i went all the way to leeds and i was able to get this now when i got this item i didn't actually know for the first couple of days that basically around here in the corner the coating that looks you know when you get pva glue and you put it to your hand and it starts peeling like skin that's sort of what happens around here so basically i had to take it back to leeds and get it exchanged for this one I use this for basically, I use it for like my addresses, my passcodes, you know, things like that, personal information. Um, I haven't used it this much this year because I just haven't had the need to use it. With everything that's going on, obviously everything's been cancelled, so there's no really real appointments going into this anymore. So this has sat on the side. If I was told I could only have one Louis Vuitton item and I had to get rid of everything else, this would be the item that I chose. Because as stupid as it sounds, because it was my first item, it has sentimental value to it. So it sort of, it means something to me. And also, every time I look at it, even if I put it away for a while and I don't look at it, it makes me happy every time I see it, basically. So yes i can't remember the actual price for it but give me a minute and i will see what the current retail is for it because obviously there has been a price increase so they have gone up in price so the current price for the medium ring agenda is 420 pounds i got this when i'm pretty certain when i got this it was about 390 I'm not 100% sure, but it was a £300 mark when I bought this. So there has been a price increase on it. I didn't realise how much of one, but if I'm correct on the price that I purchased it for, then yeah, it's gone up significantly from... Well, no, actually it hasn't. It's gone up by about 30, 40 quid, which isn't really much. So yeah, moving on to my next item, which is the Speedy bandolier demi bean in the size 30 and this is that bag this is also made in france i don't know whether you'll be able to see that i have used this for pretty much every day since i've bought the bloody thing i have it stuffed at the moment because i'm obviously not using it i only use two parts of the bandolier i don't use the middle part because i only use this as a shoulder bag this bag has been in severe weather it has basically sat in a puddle of water at the bottom of my daughter's pram which has caused this bit to soften up a little more a little bit more which means it is a lot more flexible than most it's still stiff so it could do a little bit of damage i haven't worn it just like this yet so basically with like a vest top on i've always had the jumper on or a coat on or whatever so i've never experienced you know how it would dig into you basically 
be getting the size. Let me just take the stuffing out. I have my daughter's pajamas in there and two of her jumpers. Um, I want a scarf. I have a scarf. I have a bag organizer in there, which I'm going to take out actually, so we can show you the inside. And there's a couple of pens in here as well, which I wasn't expecting. Um, basically, the inside is bright red. It is in perfect condition. There is a zipper compartment on this side, which I do not use. Then there is the D-ring on this side right here. Without the organiser in, it's quite smushy. And I, I can actually still squash it down to the way it was when I first bought it, sort of, in a way. Um, but yeah, this has the organiser for a reason and you can actually still see the marks in it. Well, where are they actually? On this side, preferably, where it was folded. You can just about see, there you go. At the bottom, the corner's like right there. You can just see where it was originally folded. They still haven't come out. I haven't done anything to try and get them out. It is a very big bag. It fits a lot more in than I expected. I use this bag when I'm going on long distances. Um, I have recently downsized a lot of my SLGs. So basically, I don't carry as much anymore, which is a little bit sad because I. it means that this bag is too big now. When I purchased this bag, it was just under a thousand pounds i think it was 965 it could have been 85 it was around that mark but it wasn't exactly on a thousand there has been two price increases since then the first one went up to bang on a thousand pounds for this bag the second price increase basically has up to even more or has it hang on a minute no, I think the first price increase put this up to 1,030. And now, currently, it is at the Speedy 30 Bandelier is currently at £1,090, which is a large price increase, in my opinion. It shouldn't have gone up that much because, to be honest, the bag is only made of canvas. It's only the trimming that is leather. Would I buy this bag again in a size 30? No, I definitely wouldn't. It is too big for me, to be honest. Um, I could probably get away with using it as like a weekend bag or something because it is that big and you could fit a fair amount of things in it. Um, I definitely wouldn't buy it again. I would, as much as I've gone on about the size 25 being too small, that is the next size I would like to try because obviously I've downsized a lot of my things so I don't need the space that much anymore and I've already bought the organiser with the 25 and it, everything just fits perfectly so yes I bought this in September 2019 so I've had this for just under a year it is in great condition it is there's a little bit of wearing on the um d rings on the side i don't know whether you can see but there is a little bit of wear where the gold has come off to be honest that doesn't bother me um everything else is in perfect condition as for the mm agenda realized i forgot to mention condition I realised I forgot to mention the condition of the MM Agenda. Basically, this is in really, really good condition. I've hardly used it. And when I have used it, I've really looked after it. And it has, you know, everything on it is still in perfect condition. So, yeah, I would say the quality of this is really, really good. My next item that I bought was actually the mini pochette. Now, the next three items that I'm going to show you, I actually bought pre loved on eBay. Now, this is the item that I bought. It is the mini pochette in the monogram. 
it is i think that says made in france yes it is made in france this item is about i think it's five years old i got this last year as a christmas present but i bought it a couple of months or a couple of weeks before so i stored it for christmas basically it has the brown interior i use it for mainly wires and things when i got this item um uh, i for some reason i thought i bought it in the demi bean and hadn't and basically i was sort of like okay i just don't know why i just got it into my head that i bought it in the demi bean so anyway i put it away for christmas and then once i had put it away when christmas came round i obviously i opened all my presents and this was one of the things that was in there along with the next two items well the next item um and basically it took me a while to use this i didn't like it i don't know what it was but i just i wasn't taken to it so it did take me a lot longer to use this than i thought it would but to be honest it is in really good shape it is in good condition you know for a pre-loved item it has been well looked after by the previous owner the zipper on it is perfect um there is no water damage to it at all um actually i hadn't noticed this it could be just me actually i'm not 100 percent sure but i think underneath the d-ring there i think you can just about see it. you might not be able to pick it up on camera but you can see a little bit of silver where the gold has come off again that does not bother me it just shows it's been used to be honest i i'm gonna be honest i can't remember how much i paid for this but i did pay through the nose for it obviously because if you buy something on ebay that is pre-loved you will pay more than what it is selling for currently because obviously these are pieces that are hard to find so expect to pay through the nose if you are looking for one of these pre-loved i have never ever seen one of these available on the on website so far I would love to get the Demi Bean. Um, but it does its job. And yeah, I'm really, really happy about it. So yeah, I think this currently retails for just under £300. But I'm not 100% sure. I will just check. Give me a moment. So the Mini Pochette currently retails at £230. You can get it in the monogram, the Demi Bean and the Demi Azure print. And there are a few other prints as well. You can get it in the Epi leather and I think there's another leather as well. But yes, I have it in the canvas. The second item I got, I got this because of Jerusha Couture. I got the Toiletry 15 in the, well, it only comes in the monogram as far as I'm aware. This piece is made in Spain. This is a, I'm not sure whether it's a pre-loved piece or it was a new in the box piece. All of the items that I bought off eBay, I have all the original receipts for them. I will not buy anything unless it has an original receipt with it, basically. This item is a toiletry bag, so therefore the inside is a wipeable lining which can be cleaned it doesn't have any interior pockets i use this as a catch-all i use it for my medication my uh, chewing gum plasters and what other crap i need to carry at the time um this out of my slgs my louis vuitton slgs this is one of my favorite items i will never get rid of this if i had to would i buy it again yes i definitely would um this currently retails for 270 pounds it has never been available on the loot on website to my knowledge i have never been able to find one um i got this around the same time just after i got the mini pochette um a couple of months later this is as i said pre-loved but it was i think it was new when i got it i think it was only a couple of weeks or months old i can't exactly remember but again it was one of the items that i paid for the nose for as i said i absolutely love this item and if i had to buy it again i definitely would my next item 
is an item that I wasn't really expecting to buy. I didn't really want to buy it either. I was interested in the Nice BB, which has significantly gone up in price. And basically, I wanted something at the time that could be multi-purpose. So I wanted something that could be used as like a toiletry bag and possibly a clutch bag or whatever else. So I started getting the obsession over the Toiletry 26. This piece is made in France. This piece is brand new. It only The only person other than the sales assistant to touch this bag is the person who bought it. And I have all the new receipts with it. It hasn't even started to patina on it yet. There are no watermarks. I have used this once as a clutch bag. It has the interior, the wipeable lining on the inside, as well as the 15. It is in really good condition. And the reason it is really in really, really good condition is because I haven't used it. Not really, not since I used it as a clutch bag. Basically, I bought this on New Year's Eve 2019. I bought it on, it was my last purchase of 2019, Louis Vuitton purchase wise. And it was the first item from Louis Vuitton that I received in 2020. Because obviously it wasn't going to come the same day. It came just a couple of days into the new year. So yes, this is... A toiletry bag <laughs> so technically i bought this in 2019 but i got it in 2020 so technically it sort of fell under both years um basically when i got this again i didn't like it. i didn't know what it was but i just i haven't used it i'm scared of using it and i don't fucking know why and I don't know what is wrong with me, to be honest. Um, I could use it as a makeup bag because I need a makeup bag at the moment. Um, out of all of my Louis Vuitton items, this is the only one that I haven't really used. This is the only one that still lives in its box in the dust bag. It's just... I don't know what it is. But anyway... Again, I got this off eBay. It was another hard to find piece item. So yes, I was ripped off. I paid through the nose for it. I have never seen this available on the website. Um, this bag is known worldwide for the bag Princess Diana used as a clutch bag. As I think she was seen, I think she was seen with this bag. I think it was the week before she died using it as a clutch bag. And it is why everyone wants this bag because of that legendary detail behind it this currently retails for 325 pounds i think there has been a price increase on this um but i'm not 100 percent sure because there's only select items that i basically um watch because i'm not really interested in every other item uh, but yes this is still in brand new condition it has only been used once and Yes, would I sell this item? No, I wouldn't sell this item because I knew how hard it was to get the item in the first place. So therefore, I wouldn't really want a piece of the nose again to replace the bloody thing. My next item is something I've wanted for a long time. It is the four ring key holder. Now, this I think was meant to be discontinued. I was originally after the six ring key holder, but it was always out of stock, especially in the monogram. I basically just fell over this on the website one day and it was in stock. This was £135 retail price. It has gone up by £10 in the price increase recently. This is one continuous piece of canvas. Obviously, as you can see, the inside is leather. It is made in France as well. This is only about a month old i only bought this for my birthday it is in brand new condition it is in use condition because i use this all the time i use this all the time i recently did a video on this i've done videos on all of my items that i have so far 
either whether they were unboxing or what's in my bags or whatever but yes this was the first Louis Vuitton item I have officially bought from the website this year I am very happy that I got it I really really am if you would like to see any more in-depth reviews of the other items and what's in them what's in my bags or what's in my toiletry bag <laughs> which i haven't started using yet but i will use it for something i'm just not 100 percent sure what yet so i'll either use it for makeup or toiletries i don't know but if you wanted to see what's in my bags in the future let me know and i will surely do those videos for you but yes um i'm really sorry my nose is just fucking itchy just so annoying so that is the end of the video thank you for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you next time bye